the children that we're working with are what the government is calling the ultra poor. So they do surveys of the poorest of the poor, and these are household surveys. Our kids don't have households, so they fall below the category of the poorest of the poor. These are kids who are living on the street, living in markets, in playgrounds, um, rubbish dumps. So the kids that we work with, a very, very, very large percentage of them experience trauma, violence, abuse or exploitation. Sometimes this is at the hands of government authorities, sometimes at the ha it's at the hands of organised criminal ele elements, but for a majority of children it's at the hands of the people that they should be able to trust. Um, their parents, their uncles, their um, close neighbours, their friends. For a very large, if not all of, a very large percentage, if not all of these children, the biggest push factor, the biggest reason that they are abused or exploited is poverty. Poverty in itself doesn't cause abuse or exploitation, but the direct and indirect consequences of poverty do. And I think if there are, if I can pull out three, what I can see as the most critical factors that, that, that push children into being abused and exploited, I would say the first is vulnerability, that the lack of education, that weak support systems, um, weak self-esteem, not having someone there teaching, teaching the children, guiding them, um, makes the kids incredibly vulnerable, as well as a desperation to survive, just a, a great need to, to be able to eat and live from one day to the next. I would say the second um, critical factor would be opportunity, that because, partly because of that great need, partly because of that great vulnerability, that there is opportunity for people to take advantage of children. And unfortunately, that's human nature, that there are people um, who will just take advantage of wherever they can um, to make this, to make a move forward. So if it, the younger the child is, the more vulnerable they are. Absolutely. The younger they are, the less support systems they have around them, the less education they've had. Um, and I would say the third um, really critical factor and in the Philippines, and I know this is in many developing countries around the world, um, is impunity. That the, the lack of the rule of law, the, the weak um, government structures, corruption, mean that basically the perpetrators just get away with it. Like there's really no deterrent factor um, and there's, there's no recourse for victims. So abuse and exploitation is, is really cyclical.